Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Jamie's journey. I hope when you're watching this video, you feel motivated, you feel like you're cleaning with a friend, you feel like this is a safe space, a safe community where you belong. You belong, I want you to know that, and I just hope that you know that you're stronger than you realize and you can handle whatever comes your way today or this week. I know it, I promise, I believe in you. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my top cleaning hacks, top cleaning products, tools i'm combining hours of cleaning videos i will be sharing all of the top cleaning products and tools cleaning hacks that i use to make cleaning easier and more fun i'm going to be deep cleaning the inside of my house the outside cleaning my car testing out three different methods on how to clean grout deep cleaning my grill cleaning up my parents home and so much more decluttering and organizing i'm also going to be sharing all of the cleaning tools that i love and that just get the job done if you have a hard time bending over or moving easily i have some great cleaning tools that can definitely help you put this cleaning marathon on your tv on your phone on your tablet i'm also going to be giving away two 100 in paypal cash so there's a huge giveaway in this video so let's get ready and let's do this together So because I want to say thank you for all being here, I wanted to run this giveaway just as a way to say thank you, but I also know that I have tried out so many great cleaning products and tools so I can recommend them to you, but I know they can get expensive and they can really add up. So hopefully if you win, you can go and treat yourself. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, have the bell notifications turned on, the bell notification is right next to the subscribe button, and then answer the question that I ask in this video. And because this is such a long video, I will give you a little hint where the question is. That way, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, which I welcome you to watch the whole video, but if you don't want to, you definitely don't have to. The question is located in the video where I'm decluttering our linen closet. In this video, I deep clean my laundry room first, tested out the little green, the Bissell little green machine for the first time, and then I finally decluttered my linen closet. So that's where you can find it. This giveaway is open internationally. I will announce the winner on Friday, August 19th. So this will run for two full weeks. It will end on Thursday, August 18th at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. I will announce the winner on my YouTube community tab. I will pin the winner's comment at the top of the comment section, and I will also post on my Instagram. The winner has 24 hours to respond, or I will have to move on and choose another winner. So thank you so much for being here, and good luck. I also want to apologize because when I put this cleaning marathon together, I took a variety of videos and I went through and I picked the, the best cleaning motivation, the clips where I was using all of my top cleaning products and tools and all the cleaning hacks. So sometimes when I put them together, they don't flow seamlessly, but the moral of the story with this video is that you get to see all of the, the top cleaning products and tools. So just wanted to forewarn you about that as we continue on through the video. Time, I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can get So I was just taking paper towels and getting all of the gunk which isn't that a gross word, but it's the only word I can think of to describe all of that stuff that was in there. So I was just removing all of that with paper towels and then I was going um, to put it all back together and then do the baking soda and vinegar method to just give it an even bigger clean. I was kind of excited because it was a little bit warmer and the twins at lunch had made a really, really big mess on their high chairs. And usually I feel like I go through so many rags or paper towels cleaning up their mess. They are just so messy. Um, so I was going to here soon take their high chairs outside because it was at least warm enough to where I could pull out the hose and give them a good hose down. That's why I love these Ikea high chairs because you can just hose them down and give them a good deep clean outside. <laughs> I'm just trying to get by. I don't know how you do it. Trying to keep you. You mean 
And while I was down there, I thought I would use my little cleaning hack to clean the inside of the oven door. I just took a wire hanger and then some disinfecting wipes, and it doesn't have to be a disinfecting wipe. You could use any type of wipe and you wrap it around the hanger and then there's three openings on the underside of the door and you just stick it up there into those holes. Um, it's not a perfect system, but I was able to get some dirt and dust off. You can see it um, on the wipe, which it's pretty satisfying knowing that I was able to get some dirt off of that. I saw this online and I had no idea that you could remove the oven door and it's honestly really, really easy. Like it's so easy. You just pop those little levers out and then you pull it up. Um, you do want to be careful. You don't want to drop the door, door and shatter the glass, but it allowed me to get in there in the oven closer. Um, it allowed me to give it a really good scrubbing um, and then parts of the, where the door is, I was able to scrub underneath it. And normally I would clean out my oven with something more heavy duty but it really wasn't that dirty so I was just going in with the Jaws kitchen degreaser. And then when I was done cleaning the oven, I was going to clean the stove top, um, which you guys have seen me do multiple times. Um, but typically I use the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser, but I'm almost out of it. And I checked online on Grove Collaborative's website and it's been out of stock. So I was going to use the pink stuff on my stove top, which I've been loving. However, I don't think it's going to be a long-term fix because it's way more expensive than the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. At least here in the United States, it sounds like it's cheaper in other countries, um, but it is a good product, but just pretty expensive. But I've been having a hard time getting the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. So hopefully when it gets uh, back in stock, I can get some because like I said, I am almost out. But if you guys are curious about trying Grove Collaborative, I do have a link in my video's description that if you're a new customer you can and you put in an order, you can get a free gift set and it's a really, really good gift set. It's not like just, you know, crappy products or anything. Um, and I think Grove Collaborative products are really good. So definitely check it out if you've been thinking about it. So it was obviously the next day. Mike had removed the doors from the shower, um, 
the shower, the tracking the night before, and I was getting started on the shower in here just because I hate cleaning our shower. And I wanted to tackle the hardest part of the bathroom first because I wanted to get it off, get it out of my way, check it off the list. So I had planned on getting into all of those cracks and crevices and cleaning up um, every inch of the shower, even on top. And if you have one of the insert showers, like the white ones, I don't even know like what they're technically called or baths, make sure you're cleaning the top because they can get pretty dusty and dirty up there. So I started out with my Bissell hand steamer to kind of break everything up in the tracking, and then I was going to go in with the big guns. So uh, I had this hand steamer to do a good job of kind of breaking all of the stuff up, the crud, and then I was going to go in with my drill attach cleaning drill attachments to really break everything up. Oh, and I also wanted to clean out the drain in the shower. I like doing this periodically because this is what I find in there. Hair. Sorry for the gross clip, but hey, I bet you also have plenty of hair in your bath or shower too. I can't be the only one. So to clean, I was using a new cleaner just because I had found it randomly at Walmart and I feel like I can never find cleaning supplies in the store anymore. So I grabbed it when I found it. I think this was the only one there because I wanted to try something new because I was deep cleaning the shower. You guys know how much I love my Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner, but I wanted to try this and it is called Microban bathroom cleaner and it cleans um, and also disinfects and it's supposed to help stop the buildup of mold and mildew. So I just sprayed that. Then I was going to go in with my drill attachments. So these are the cleaning attachments that you attach to a power drill. And then I was gonna use my Rubbermaid power scrubber. I was using all of the cleaning tools to get into the cracks and crevices. Um, and I will have both of these linked in the description. So I really, really love the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner. That's typically what I use to clean in my bathroom because it's non-toxic. I like using non-toxic products, but today I just wanted something, you know, more hardcore since I was doing more deep cleaning. But the drill attachment that I was using, they come with a couple of different attachments. So you have this flat one, and then I was also, or the flat one I was using on the walls. And then they also have the more rounded one that I was using in the the tracking and I obviously don't use all of these attachments every time I clean my shower but you know when you get um I don't know I'm sure I'm not the only one but you get soap or shampoo kind of stuck on to the shower um you have to like really 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 scrub yeah with these it just blasts all of that like hardened shampoo or soap off of the shower so it makes deep cleaning really easy And then as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go to the top of the shower. It's crazy how dirty and dusty it was at the top, especially on the top of the shower tracking. It was pretty dirty. So I just used a wet cloth and wiped all of the dirt and dust away. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. Time I 
So I know I showed you guys earlier how we had gotten the snow the night before and that was just insane but I had it had almost completely melted by 5 p.m. the next day and then you guys are seeing this probably on Sunday or Monday well later I think Wednesday or Thursday it's going to be almost 80 degrees. I feel like here in the Midwest, we have crazy, crazy weather, um, but this is kind of like a typical spring for us. You know, like one day it'll be snowing, the next day it'll be 60 degrees, the next day it'll be 80 degrees. It's just how our springs are. But what I was doing here is just deep cleaning the shower doors, and I was using um, I was using the um, Rubbermaid power scrubber and the drill attachments to get into all of those corners and get all as much of the crud that I could out because so much stuff collects in the corners. And that's why I like taking these shower doors off from time to time to really clean them. And then I was going to use the Rain-X glass cleaner. So it's a glass cleaner, but also because it's Rain-X, it also repels water from the glass doors. And the glass cleaner is actually really good. Like I was kind of thinking that the glass cleaner wouldn't be as good because it's a rain next product and it would be more about repelling the water but i highly recommend this it's perfect for shower doors So when I was done with the doors, I was going to focus on other parts of the bathroom and I wanted to clean from top to bottom. So I was dusting the lighting fixtures with my swiver duster. And I love this thing because it extends, like it folds out and extends. So it allows me to get into places that I normally wouldn't be able to reach since I'm pretty short, I'm five foot, four inches. And then I was going to clean the drain, drain thingy, whatever you call it, the stopper that's in the sink. It obviously gets pretty gross and um, I was also going to clean Mike's but his didn't come out very easily. Mine just lifts out, his does not. I did some research and it means like his is, it's supposed to be attached in the bottom of the sink. And so I was going to take, well I had talked to Mike about it and we were going to have to kind of take part of the sink apart down below. I didn't have the time for it and typically he'll help me out when I like want to clean stuff like you guys have seen him help me out and stuff but he was downstairs with all three kids and he actually came up at one point to do it but then we heard chaos from downstairs so he just went back downstairs to be with the kids so we didn't have time um he was with the kids so I just figured we'll get to it another time. I mean there's sometimes you have it on your list you want to get things done but you just can't do it all i guess sometimes never up, never down, never. like a theme in a song clever feeling high feeling low at the same time feel so right then i'm wrong hoping i'll be fine but i get up i always do okay so i am here at my friend's house to test out some grout cleaners um, I have used this one for years. It's a foaming carpet cleaner. So you don't think of it as being a grout cleaner, but it works really good. And I've had a lot of you guys message me that you've tried it and you're dirty grout and it works. I've also had a lot of people recommend this. I've never tried the Zep grout cleaner. Um, I've used other Zep products. There's a foaming wall cleaner that I use all of the time but I get this recommended to me all of the time. So I picked some up at Home Depot and I thought let's give it a try. And then this one, my steam shot, it comes with different attachments and this is the grout cleaning attachment and I figured let's give this one a try as well. And it's just nice because you're not using any products, any chemicals, um, but we will see if this holds up with these. We'll see which one works better. I have a couple different methods I'm gonna try and we'll see what we can do.
So just by having the zep sit on parts of the grout, I could already see dirt just pulling up from the grout before I even scrub. So that was awesome and very encouraging to see. So I put it on there. Um, so I put the cleaners on the grout, but then when I wiped them up, it was hard to see because it was wet. And you know, when grout's wet, it looks dark. So I got a hair dryer to dry the grout to see which one truly worked better. And I thought the camera doesn't do doesn't give it full justice i feel like it looked better in per the resolve looked better in person than what it does on camera but i was impressed with both of them so far but i was gonna keep going and try like other areas of the bathroom because i didn't want to just do one test and i also wanted to try my bissell steam shot hand steamer All right, I'm a little shocked. Look how bright that is. Okay, so again, steamer. That's the Zep. And then that's the Resolve. I think right now the Resolve and the steamer, I think the steamer for my little test seems to be the winner. So like I said, I was just going around and testing all three methods in various parts of the bathroom. So the one difference was when I first tried the Zep and the Resolve foaming, I didn't want to scrub. Like I just wanted to let them sit there for a few minutes to see how they would do without any scrubbing. Because obviously the goal is always like what what can I what product can I find that will cause me to do the least amount of work you know so I wanted to try out with no scrubbing so that was the first test that you guys saw and then I wanted to do it with some scrubbing um, using my Rubbermaid power scrubber and I will say that I don't think that the camera like I said earlier like more that I, I test it I just don't think the camera I when I look at it on camera it looks like the resolve is doing the worst but outside of the camera, I'm like, oh, I think it's like right up there with the Zep. So I don't know. Um, before I give you my final re review on what I think through all of these after I used all of them throughout the bathroom, um, like I just wanted to test it on as many areas as I could. Um, also keep in mind that grout is made up of different things. Like we have sanded grout, which is different than other types of grout. So you want to know like what type of grout you have. Like for me personally, just because one works, um, better than the other doesn't mean like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, just I'll give you my final thoughts but I think that all three of these are really really good um and I think you know maybe one might work for one person another for another depending on the type of grout or how dirty their grout is um but if you guys have any if you've tried these let me know but I'll tell you right now I am pretty impressed with the Bissell steam shot for sure but I think these are all products that I will continue to keep around and use
Okay, for the verdict. I honestly say that all three of these are great grout cleaning methods. Um, I think it's gonna depend on the type of grout you have. We have sanded grout, so you have to be careful with sanded grout on how much you're scrubbing. Um, so I think that, I think these are two great products to use. That's a great product to use, like if you already have it out in your bathroom, um, you don't wanna use any chemicals or cleaners, great option. These are also great for maintenance. Um, I will probably keep using this just for like a maintenance, like spray it on there, leave it for a few minutes and not scrub. We have sanded grout and you wanna be careful with sand sanded grout, you don't wanna scrub too much. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep using this and letting it sit or even this on my grout and then just not scrub. With that one, you're kind of scrubbing. So um, honestly, all great products recommend them all i think the steamer probably did the best job but again because we have sanded grout it's not going to be something i'm going to use all of the time i'll probably go for these and not scrub but if you don't have sanded grout that might be your winner but i would i highly suggest all three of these and i would test them on your own grout because grout is different um so if you don't have sanded grout it might be different but Oh, and really quickly, right here, I am just sprinkling some baking soda on the mattress to let it sit. It's kind of how I deodorize, freshen up, and kind of clean my mattress um, from time to time. And then I was going to let it sit most of the day. So I saw this grill cleaning hack recently and I was like, I'm going to try it. So I was using Simple Green, which is, I've used it to clean the grill, like not taking the grates out before. And it does a really good job of cleaning. So um, I poured some into a plastic tub with hot water and I was going to let them soak for multiple hours and we'll see how it does. Um, I couldn't fit everything, everything in there, but... I just kind of threw that top rack in there even though it wasn't fully i'll just have to get a bigger one next time but the simple green meets the safer choice the epa safe product choices so that's why i feel like it's okay to use on something that we put our food on So, so many of you guys have been asking me to try out a carpet rake or like a little like like one of these like scrapers for the carpet this is a little it's called the lily brush it is for you can use it in the car like car detailing so i'm going to try it out there but um like if you have a dog or cat or fuzz it kind of like rakes up the carpet um and so what i was doing is i was going in using it on my stairs before I vacuumed. I've seen Cambria, living with Cambria, love her channel. She uses this a lot and she loves using her carpet rakes. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. Now, I kind of expected to see more dog fur. However, um, I do vacuum my stairs quite a bit, so maybe that's why. But I will say that this does a really good job of getting into the corners, like the creases of the carpet. And you can see, like, I just kind of went through each stair and I was kind of balling it up um, in, like, a little pile before I went and vacuumed. And I would say that, especially because you can use this in the car, I found it pretty helpful. I don't think I would use it like on my main carpet, but you know what? I think it'd be really good to use in like the corners of your carpet. i
It's so crazy to me when I think of, you know, the twins being in high chairs. We do have booster seats that they sit in, but I don't know. We just, they tend to eat a little bit earlier than Mike, than me, Mike, and Avery. Like usually we'll sit down, but like the twins just seem to need to eat a little bit earlier and we'll give them snacks, but I don't want them filling up on snacks before eating dinner. So usually we're kind of like getting stuff together for dinner and they're eating in the high chairs and then we'll pull them over and they'll sit with us when we actually eat. But we just have like a good area for the high chairs. I remember when we came to this house, um, when we toured it. So we moved in when Avery was like two weeks old. We came here and the previous owners had just built the house. So it was like six months old and their jobs like their job they got transferred so they were selling we came in and right away i was like oh that's a perfect area for a high chair i think that if we didn't have this designated area i probably would have already gotten rid of the high chairs and they would just sit in the booster seats to not have it i don't want it to be a mess but i want to kind of let the office be a little like imperfect i guess and so i don't think i would like that in my living room you know like i kind of want my living room and kitchen for the most part to be picked up to be clean looking clean looking and i kind of want to let my office be an office not a disaster but be realistic about the office. So I don't know. I mean, we could always add a wall, you know, add in French doors, but that would be a big cost. So I wouldn't want to do that unless we for sure stayed here. But anyways, I've also been thinking about making it like a nicer playroom, like not playroom. We have all the, like the toys downstairs. We let the basement become a disaster because we can, but I'm thinking that now that the twins are older, we don't have as many of like the baby toys. We can limit the amount of toys we have up here because they're older and they can go downstairs and play. So I'm thinking maybe making it into like a nicer looking toy space or like a nice little table and chairs. I don't know. The wheels are turning. We'll see. So the verdict on Simple Green is it did a really, really good job. Is it perfect? No. But this is also the first time that I've done it and I did scrub it a lot. I mean, so what the Simple Green did was it broke everything up. There were like a lot, like these were covered, covered in layers of black. And some of the Simple Green just soaking it, the black came off. I did go in and scrub it, but I didn't have to scrub very hard. The stuff was like falling off as I was scrubbing. And I mean, I didn't expect the grates to be perfect, but also this is the first time. So if I keep up with this, I mean, it's like soaking it for a few hours and then doing like one like scrape over and like on each side. I don't know, I'm gonna keep up so with it. So proof that it actually works is this top rack was stainless steel the other ones was a, it was a gray color the stainless steel where the like this was the the rack that i couldn't get all the way in you could see the area that was soaking versus the area that wasn't soaking So here I was just vacuum vacuuming up all of that baking soda after letting it sit all day on here. And then I was using the shop vac from our garage just because I've heard that it's not good to, to vacuum up baking soda. Some people say you can, some people say you can't. And I don't want to risk ruining one of my vacuums. We have a shop vac. So I brought that in from the garage and was vacuuming up all of that baking soda.
so I wanted to give their stovetop a really good scrub and I recently found this scrub daddy power paste and it worked phenomenally on my glass cooktop stove so I thought I would give it a try on their stove and they had a lot of caked on like burnt on stuff on their stove as you get on your stove and it continued to wow me for sure wait till you see how it cleaned their hood range um, there was so much grease on there and it just took it off so easily So it's kind of crazy because on the second night when I came back to clean, I was all alone in their house and it just felt weird to be alone, like cleaning alone. Because when I clean at home, obviously the twins are there for the most part. Um, but even when they're napping, you know, I can still feel their presence and Mike works from home. And I said this before, but he kind of hops around the house if he doesn't need two screens to do his job. Um, then he'll take his laptop and go in the basement or he'll, you know, sit in our room or something or in the living room. But even if I'm upstairs in our room cleaning and he's in the basement, I can still feel his presence around. And it's just a completely different feeling when you're home alone, cleaning at night. It was actually really, really cozy. So this was the first night that I had come to their house to clean. I wasn't able to get everything done. I needed to get done. So I was going to come back a few nights later. And this was one of the last things I wanted to do here was clean their walls and their front hallway. They always seem to get the dirtiest just because this is the main traffic area in their home from the front door. And I was using... Um, the Zep foaming wall cleaner and my wall cleaning tool. Then I was going to clean their baseboards down their front hallway with my O Cedar spin mop. And like I said with the wall cleaning tool and the cabinets, I just like to try to find different ways to clean certain areas of a home. For those of you who have a little bit of a harder time bending over or reaching different areas, um, but also for my parents. I mean, I know it's not as easy for them to get down on their hands and knees as it would be for me um, because I'm 30 years younger than them. And I just, I wanted to try it out so I could say, hey, use your O-Cedar Spin Mop to clean your baseboards or, you know, use this to do that. And if mom and dad, I know you're listening, please, I growing up, I love working out. So I consider myself athletic, but when it comes to dancing, I don't have that ability so anyways you guys are my friends i'll show you my horrible dance moves but anyways i was cleaning and listening to christmas music for some reason i just can't get in the the christmas spirit yet i don't know what it is this year i was telling my friend that it just doesn't seem like it's this time of the year already maybe it's because i haven't decorated i don't know i just can't get in the, the christmas spirit so I've started listening to Christmas music, hoping that can kind of put me in the right headspace for the holiday season.
So here's another cleaning tool that is great if you have a hard time bending over or moving. It's basically an extendable electronic scrubber. So as you can see, I don't really have to bend over too far to scrub, like really scrub the floor and the walls and the grout. Um, this one is actually my mom. So I have my own, but I thought it was such a great tool that I recommended it to my mom. So I tell you guys this, when I recommend a cleaning product or if I'm showing you a cleaning product, it's not that I'm just showing it to you guys because I'm trying to get you to buy things or, um, you know, promote different things. If I'm promoting it to you, I'm promoting it and recommending it to my friends and family. So hopefully you guys see that like a lot of the products that I use in my own home, my mom has, and it's because I think they're great products. About him again. I know that your heart's been broken. You should try and let it go and start being yourself. You, you. you can put on your dress. We can play your favorite song. And I will take care of you, care of you, care of you. This is what we need. This is what we okay so i saw this method online about how to easily clean the window tracking so i was like i'm gonna give it a try and if you've seen people use vinegar and baking soda before to clean window tracking um it is truly an amazing way to clean window tracking when they're really really messy um so you just kind of um you kind of have the baking soda and the vin vinegar and then you scrub with a cleaning toothbrush. Um, so as you can see, my window tracking was pretty dirty. So what I did was um, I took some baking soda, sprinkled it on there, did as much as I, you know, like I wasn't really particular about how much I put on there. And then I poured some white distilled vinegar in there and I let it bubble up and it just kind of gets into the cracks and crevices on its own. And then I was going to take a cleaning toothbrush to really scrub even more and get into all of the cracks of the window tracking and then the kicker the thing that changed all of this was using a wet vac so a wet vacuum to suck all of that stuff up so normally when I've seen this method um, you have to go in with a ton of paper towels and rags and just keep soaking all of that up soaking and scrubbing and you're just constantly wiping over and over and over with but with the wet vac all of that stuff gets just soaked right up and it was pretty game-changing this is actually not my wet vacuum it's my father-in-law so he let me borrow it to try this out because i wasn't really sure how well it would work and i will tell you i am really impressed i may have to buy one of these for myself because i'm sure it's something that we would end up using you know in the garage and just in many other places and i did a quick google search and i can't speak to the quality of some of these wet vacs but you can find one for about 30 it was like a little over 30 dollars at target so i mean you can get more expensive ones but for 30 dollars, it's not not a bad idea to have on hand because like i said i know we would end up using it in other areas of the garage but this method was pretty good. Um, I mean, I know it was a smaller window, but it was really dirty. And I feel like usually with window tracking, it's very tedious work. And with the wet vac, it was not at all. Sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Never been in love. 
All right, so this was day two, and let's talk IVF, embryos, and all of that crazy stuff. But just really quickly, I was vacuuming the stairs with my Tinco Power Hero 11 vacuum. It's a cordless vacuum that comes apart to be used as a hand vacuum. I will have it linked in the description. Um, but I was just vacuuming before using my Bissell Pro Heat carpet cleaner to clean the stairs because it has an attachment. And sorry about the bad lighting as I move upstairs. It gets pretty dark up there, so the lighting is kind of off but there was so much hair on these stairs. Wait till you see how much was in the vacuum when I was done. Okay, so I got a lot of questions about IVF, how we decided to do it. Did we need to use IVF for Avery? And the answer is no. So I have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and I didn't even know I had it until we were having trouble getting pregnant with Avery. We tried for over a year to get pregnant, couldn't get pregnant. I was put on Clomid, which is a fertility drug that helps you grow follicles and eggs and lets your body ovulate. So that ended up working. After three rounds, we were able to get pregnant with Avery. We actually got pregnant with twins, but miscarried um, one of the babies at 14 weeks. So fast forward, ready to try for number two. And in the year and a half, that short year and a half between Avery and the twins, Mike developed a male infertility issue. So between the both of us at this time, I had an issue, he had an issue, I had tried Clomid again, um, I exhausted all of the cycles with Clomid, you can only do six cycles, and then I did Femara, Femara, um, which is another similar fertility, well I don't think it's a fertility drug, but it's used in the fertility world. And then we did an IUI, which is where I go into a fertility clinic and they inject me. That did not work. So at that point, the doctor said, all right, I think, oh, and I also had a miscarriage. I had also gotten pregnant, had a miscarriage. So at this point, the doctor said with male infertility, female infertility, the miscarriages you've had, I think IVF is going to be your best bet since you're dealing with all of this. So, um, I can get more into this another time, but luckily most of that process went pretty smoothly for me. And um, when it was all said and done, I was very blessed to be able to have multiple embryos. And at that point, we got to decide how many do we put in. And, you know, it's just crazy because most people don't get to decide if they want one or two kids um, or like one one at a time, two at a time. Not saying that just because I picked two embryos, I would get pregnant with two embryos, but it's just a weird decision to have in your hands. And I'll continue to tell the story here in a minute and how we made our decision. I just want to take a little bit of break so you guys can listen to some music. So I was just cleaning the baseboards with Dawn dish soap and hot water and then vacuuming before cleaning the stairs or the carpet in the upstairs hallway. But anyway, so it was such a hard decision um, to make and some fertility centers will actually not let you put in two embryos because the complications of twins and possible issues with delivery of twins. Um, there's just a lot more problems with twins, pregnancy, post-pregnancy. So a lot of fertility centers will not even allow you to, cho to choose to put in two, especially if you're younger, because your chances of having a successful pregnancy is much higher in the world of fertility if you're younger. And at the time I was 33, I think. So I was still considered young. However, our fertility center allowed us to make the choice. So the only tools you really have to go off to make a decision, like if you're on the fence, they do grade, they they do grade the embryos. They give them a letter grade and a number grade. So it's basically though a beauty contest. So they give the grades based on how 
the embryos look so not to get too much into biology but there are certain things they're looking the embryologist is looking at when they're looking at these embryos so they do give them grades and that's really the only information that we had to go off of well we had two top grades the best grade you can be given they were four aas four aas so Oh, and really quickly, I'm doing that refrigerator cleaning hack, kind of bouncing back and forth here. Um, and all I do is run some really, really hot water in the bathtub, a clean bathtub. Is This was clean. And then I take the shelves from my refrigerator and I maybe do this every couple of months um, when or when the shelves just need a good cleaning. We were getting ready to leave for vac vacation and we weren't going to have a lot of food in here for multiple days. So I wanted to give it a really good deep clean. So then we got home, brought home new groceries. We would have a nice clean refrigerator. So um, I just put them in the bathtub for about 20 minutes. You can even see the stuff floating around here in less than a minute. So it does a really good job. No scrubbing. I pull them straight out and there you have it. A nice clean refrigerator in less than a half an hour. But I'm going to continue on and organize the bathroom here on day three and I will continue my embryo IVF story. Okay, so let's address the pretzel down there on the floor. Did you guys see that? You probably were like, I think that was a cigarette butt, right? So I posted a similar clip of this when I was cleaning the car on my Instagram. And I started getting so many messages from people who were like, I didn't know you smoked. How do you get smoke, the smell of smoke out of your car? And people are like, I'm so confused because you're, you're so healthy, but you're smoking. 
And I was so confused myself because I'm like, I don't smoke. I have never smoked in my life. I had no idea what people were talking about. So I went back to watch the clip on Instagram and that little broken off piece it's a pretzel. People thought that was a cigarette butt. I was cracking up that entire day. It was so funny to me. Um, I love eating pretzel rods, like, you know, the long skinny pretzels. And apparently I'm just a messy pretzel eater in my car. So a, the, like a top piece had broken off. Um, and that's, that's what it was, not a cigarette butt. But I was just, um, I was laughing at the whole situation. But anyways, I was pulling everything out of my car before wiping things down and busting out the big tools to deep clean in here. And I got these really cool card detailing brushes. They kind of look like paint brushes from Amazon. I will have them linked below. And they were game changing for cleaning my car. They allow you to get into so many little cracks and crevices. I did not know I needed these as bad as I did. You guys need to check these out. Um, go check them out on Amazon. I'll have them linked below. So with Mother's Day here in a couple of days, which happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there, this year, Mike and I really struggled with what to get our moms. I think as I get older, I want more meaningful gifts for my mom, especially with how the last year has been for everyone, but also for her. She's an RN, she's a nurse, so she's been on the front lines working really hard, and it's been a really exhausting year. So for this year, I stumbled upon StoryWorth. I felt like this would be the perfect gift for her or anyone else special in my life or your life. Seriously, this is something you all need to hear about. StoryWorth is an online service that helps anyone in your life. But with Mother's Day coming up, I'm thinking about, you know, your mom, your grandmother, mother-in-law, and every mother figure out there in your life. StoryWorth allows you to share stories through thought-provoking questions about their memories and personal thoughts. It's a fun new way to engage with them, especially if you can't be together in person. So this is how it works. Once a week, StoryWorth emails your mom or whoever you choose a different story prompt, questions you've never thought to ask, like what are some of the best advice your mother ever gave you? They simply reply with a story to that email, which is shared with you each week. And then at the end of the year, their stories are bound into a beautiful keepsake book. You can preserve your memories, feel connected to family, and even learn about your relatives. So again, StoryWorth takes all of those stories compiled over the year and makes it into a detailed keepsake book. And you can even add personal pictures and make it even better. So StoryWorth will be a heartfelt, sentimental gift that honors who my mom is, a wonderful mom, a hard worker, a great nurse, and something we can all cherish together as a family. They have several hundred questions you can choose from and you can even write your own. So here are some examples. How did you decide to get married? What are some of your favorite movies? Have you ever pulled any great pranks? I would love to hear that one from my mom. Um, what is your idea of the perfect happiness? What are some things you think you cannot live without? Give your mom the most meaningful gift this Mother's Day with StoryWorth. Get started right away without the need for shipping plus $10 off by going to storyworth.com slash Jamie. So just check out their website. Seriously, when you are finished watching this video, go check out their website because the stories and just looking at some of the books just really tugged at my heartstrings, especially with Mother's Day coming up or even Father's Day. You probably have no idea what to get your parents or someone else special in your life and the best gifts i think are the gifts that people least expect and again you can get started right away without the need for shipping plus ten dollars off by going to storyworth.com slash jamie the link will be in the description
So here again, I had pulled out my power washer and my drill attachments. Guys, these drill attachments are game changing for just cleaning anywhere anywhere in general. I will have them linked below, but when I use them in the car, I didn't have to use any special brushes to get all of the dog fur or fuzz that gets embedded into the carpet fibers. This drill attachment did it all. Like it just kicked it all up and then I was able to vacuum all of that up. So these are really, really great. And I was also able to use them for my mats, um, the floor mats and give them a really good deep cleaning. And I also have been getting asked where I got these car mats and they came with the car. They are all weather mats. So we got this car last February, February of 2020, and we were able to get all weather mats, which I think are really great if you have kids or if you live in a climate where you have snow and ice like we do and salt and all of that. But I was spraying down Dawn dish soap on the mats and then going over them with the drill attachments and then going back over them with the power washer. I was then going to use my Bissell carpet cleaner that has the attachment to clean the seats and I was being careful not to put too much water into the car seats so I was being just really careful and controlling how much water I put out onto the car seats and again I was using these um, or the drill attachments um, once I would clean it I'd use the drill attachments to really get into the seat and get any dirt to come up. So yes, last August, I left two gallons of milk and yogurt in here. And I know you guys are like, number one, how did you forget milk? Like, didn't you notice that you were low on milk? And the other question is, how did you not drive your car for almost a, a week? Well, we do go through a lot of milk, but sometimes it's like one week we'll go through a lot of milk and then the other week we don't. I don't know. It just, sometimes it can be inconsistent. And when I add stuff to the grocery list, like we always pick up our groceries. Um, and when I go in to submit it, I just always add milk because I never want to run out of it. It's primarily what the twins drink and really Avery. And since it can be inconsistent, like some weeks the milk really piles up in our fridge and then other weeks it doesn't. So I think it must've been one of those weeks where we weren't going through a lot because obviously we didn't notice we didn't have any. Um, and as far as not driving the car, a lot of times when we go anywhere as a family, we always take my husband's truck because we can all fit into the, to his truck and he almost always drives when we go somewhere as a family. So we just always take his truck and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it was a slow week. We were just probably going places more as a family so I just didn't get in get in there and I remember I opened it up and it smelled so bad I have tried everything I've tried charcoal bags I've tried baking soda vinegar um, like car bombs that you can buy at the store to make it smell better I've deep cleaned this car I've cleaned the carpets the mats and I think you can smell a lingering smell. Other people say they can't, but um, I was doing a lot of research and there's this product called Odoban and that is supposedly really, really good. And so that's what I was going to give a try today. 
but um, I was just wiping everything down in the interior with Clorox wipes and then I was going to go and use this new product I got. I was researching car detailing videos and I came across the Detail Geek and he swears by this one product called 303 Aerospace Protectant. It's a UV protection. It prevents fading and cracking and repels dust, dirt, and staining and it's not greasy at all so I put that on after the I use the Clorox wipes. I want to say that you are, you are the one I need. Honestly, I was going to clean the car seats, but I ran out of time and also got really tired. And Mike said he would take care of that later. So um, later on in the night after the kids went to bed, it was still light out, still nice out. And so he went outside to do that. But stay tuned for day two. There will be more cleaning inside the house as well as a couple of different recipes. And you also get to say hi to the girls. Okay, so it's kind of windy, so I hope you guys can hear me. But I bought this, this little like, well, it's a car garbage can. So it's insulated. So if something were to spill, it would be easy to wipe clean. Um, but it actually came with these little garbage bags that you can put in here. And then you have this little top. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show you with one hand. It's just kind of a little flat from the way it was in the box, but it's more of like a square. Um, so then you can just put your garbage here in the top and the hole. So I'm gonna stick this in the front seat on the floor. And then it has these nice little pockets on the side that I can stick stuff. So um, like sunscreen, maybe some extra diapers, a first aid kit, all of that stuff. So that's easily accessible. And hopefully with this, we can kind of keep up on the garbage and trash in the car and try to keep it um, clean for a little bit longer. But I thought this was kind of nice. And I like how it's also a little organizer. So it kind of serves as like a trash can, but also a little organizer. There's nothing that can stand in our way If you'd stay here, it'd be more than okay Okay, so I'm sure I've already talked about this somewhere in the video um, But I still feel like there's a lingering odor So I did a ton of research And I mean, I've tried it all Baking soda, vinegar, um, charcoal bags, everything and this kept coming up. It is a disinfectant. It takes away odors. Um, it stops mold and mildew from growing. Kills 99.99% .99 of germs. It's a multi-purpose cleaner. You can use it to... I was looking on the back. So it is a deodorizer, a sanitizer, a disinfectant, a medill, mildew stat, a viricide. Either way. It can be used in walls, tables, floors, chairs, countertops, bathroom fixtures, sinks, shelves, racks, upholstery, drapes, carpets, bedding, flower, curtains, and mattresses. So pretty versatile um, cleaner. It's good for pet solutions. So I'm going to spray this on the floor and hopefully we can get rid of that smell. What a day. I have mud on my face somewhere. I am sweating. My hair's crazy from the wind, but you know what? My car looks pretty good and it smells pretty good. So I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> So 
So if you have young kids and you probably know what this is in my bathtub, it's bath paint that my girls had spilled out when they were taking a bath. And I don't know why, but it got it hardened on the tub. And honestly, it's never happened before. So I don't know what happened, but it was funny because when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, I have the perfect tool for this because it was just really, really stuck on there and it was hard. Um, so I had these drill attachments and there's no way I would have been able to get all of this off without the drill attachments, or at least I would have been using way more elbow grease if I didn't have them. So I got these off of Amazon and I'll also have them linked below, but it was actually kind of fun. Um, and I was not mad at all about this mess because I got to use these drill attachments again. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. Hard to say, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I want him now, 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 now. Hard to say, yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you. If you are brand new to my channel hello i'm jamie and my goal is to try to make cleaning more fun and easier for you i truly love to clean and i want to make it fun and try to make your life a little bit easier and this is just one prime example of a cleaning tool that i purchased and i tried out and you guys can see how helpful it can be in your own home I also wanted to clean out my Dyson because you could tell it was pretty gross. So I will have the video linked below that showed me how to take this apart and clean it out. But I figured instead of me detailing it all to you, I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it. Um, but I'll also have the videos linked below that I use. But with your Dyson, the filter right here, it doesn't show you in the video, but you can slide the filter off of that plastic part. And the Dyson, actually, like if you look up what they say to do with that filter, they tell you just to run the whole thing under water. And that's what I used to do. But then I saw somewhere that you could actually pull that, the like the outer part off of the plastic part, like the long skinny part. And when I did that, you could see there was embedded dirt and pet fur in there. And so if I, you know, beforehand, I was just always running that underwater. Well, the fur is going, the dirt and fur is going to stay in there and just get wet and probably make the vacuum smell even worse. So I'm glad I completely took that top filter part off of the plastic part. So something to keep in mind, but you want to be super careful when you're doing this. You don't want to run things just underwater. So for the most part, I used a damp rag with hot water and a tiny bit of dish soap um, and then some disinfecting wipes to get into the plastic parts um, to get into all of the cracks and crevices. And it's not easy, but I don't think it's as hard as it looks. And it's really satisfying when you're done. older cat um but it's just sad when you when you are missing a part of your family this is just some of the spots that we had to clean um i'm not going to sit there and show you guys all of the cat messes so i was grateful to have this hoover power dash pet and i do want to thank hoover for partnering with me on this video when they reached out to me I went and did a lot of research on their products on this one specifically and I wanted to work with them because of all of number one because of all of the positive reviews you know I'm a researcher I want to make for sure I, I want to look and see what people are saying and there were a ton of positive reviews um, the other thing is I love the price point you can get this deep carpet cleaner for less than a hundred dollars and it's lightweight i wanted to show you how late it how lightweight it was just by picking it up with one finger so it's not big and bulky it's not heavy and it's it also has an amazing price and i know i've used other carpet cleaners in the past but i like to share different types of products with you guys because not everyone um 
we all have different needs. Not everyone can lift a heavy carpet cleaner. Not everyone has the budget to put into a carpet cleaner, but yet we all want clean carpets, especially if you have pets. So I wanted to try this out for you and show you truly how it performed for me. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Playing with some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness And all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life even though it was lightweight and smaller than other carpet cleaners I've used in the past, the performance was not any less. And I'll show you the dirty water and everything it picked up when I was done. You can even see sediment or floaties. I guess that's my professional term for the dirty water things that were floating in there. So it obviously picked up a lot. And the other thing I liked about it was it was easy to clean when I was done. Just because it's smaller, um, it, you know, had a little bit less pieces and it was just super easy to clean all of the dog and cat fur out of the brush roll when I was done. And I'll show that to you guys too. Um, but that was just after one pass going over that spot. And I know that brush roll looks pretty gross in there, but to me that shows how powerful this carpet cleaner is. It's lightweight, it's a you know smaller machine than what I've used in the past, but it's still powerful. It was able to pull all of that fur from the carpet after I had already vacuumed. And I'd much rather go and just wipe all of that stuff out of the brush roll than have it be stuck in my carpet. I will have a link in my description um, for you guys to check out this Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner. Um, you know, I have a cleaning YouTube channel and I feel like part of my responsibility to you guys is to show you a variety of products because like I said, not, you know, everyone has different budgets. Everyone has different needs and just because you have a smaller budget doesn't mean you want something um, that's not going to perform as well as other carpet cleaners. And so this is, you know, it has a, a smaller price point, but it still performs amazing. And I will be using this for, you know, cleaning my carpet. So I am approaching 200,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is just a number my mind cannot comprehend. So make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on because I'm going to be doing a giveaway, actually two giveaways. One is going to be a vacuum and I'll explain this later on in the video. Um, a vacuum, you guys have to let me know which vacuum you'd prefer and then a Bissell steam shot that you know I love that cleaning tool so um, I'm gonna have you guys vote later on in the video um, but I will have that video out and all of the details about how to enter here soon so make sure you're subscribed So I recently started watching Firefly Lane on Netflix and I loved it. So I'm going to read the book now. I've heard the book and the TV series, is, they're completely different. So it actually makes me more excited 
to read the book now and see how different they are. But let me know what you guys are watching right now on TV. So with this toilet seat, it was kind of funny because, you know, those little circle areas, one was really dirty and the other one was completely clean. So that was kind of weird, but it was really satisfying to use the steamer on um, the actual toilet. Um, and if you guys are new to my channel, um, a couple of videos ago, I used the steam shot on the base of the toilet downstairs, which by the way, um, I got a lot of co comments. People were like, you need to get it resealed under there. So I checked with our plumber and he said that um, not all toilets need to be sealed under there. Um, like there are positives and negatives to sealing under a toilet base and some like there's positives and negatives to it. And I actually Googled it and it's true. Um, so just FYI, um, I don't know if it has something to do with the ceramic tile or what, um, but yeah. I had all of Avery's special papers, you know, like the mail from the teacher when she did something good. She got a letter from the mayor. She got um, like, you know, like the Mother's Day projects, the Thanksgiving, the handprint, all of those things that I wanted to keep. I wanted to create a little bin for them to have them all in one space. So I got this bin from Office Depot. I'll have it linked below. Um, and then also where I got the labels because I got them from an online blog and I'll have the link for that. And I just basically had one folder for every grade, one file folder for every grade. And then I used my Cricut machine to cut out Avery's name. And then I was going to put that on the front of the bin to put everything in one place. It honestly didn't take me long at all and it just feels good that it's all done now so next year when she brings stuff home as a first grader wow that sounds so crazy to me to me to say i can put those special papers right in here and i did not have the time or the energy or the patience to do this for the twins right now um because my time is always limited but I'm going to do it soon just so it's done and I have it because the labels, there was even like a baby label um, from the blog. There was a pre-K. So I could start this when they go to preschool and I didn't even have this for Avery. So I hope to do this again soon for them. then this is an amazing tool. Um, or even if you aren't as mobile or you just have a hard time bending over, this, it's like a scrubber, but on a long pole. So you charge it by plugging it in. So it's like super simple. It doesn't run on batteries. And it did a really good job of 
um, getting all of the stuff out of my shower door tracking. Now I also have drill attachments, like power drill attachments that I use to clean. But with that, you're going to have to get down on your hands and knees. So again, if you're just someone who has a hard time moving around, bending over, getting on your hands and knees to scrub, this could be an option for you. I've personally never used it on my shower. This was the first time, but I've tested it out with my parents and my friend's shower, and I just thought it would be really cool for this video because I do believe it's a good cleaning tool. There's multiple heads, so depending on what you're cleaning, it's a great tool. Um, but I'm also using JAW, a lot of the JAWS cleaners here in the bathroom. That It stands for Just Add Water Systems. So you reuse the bottles and you just buy the little pods. You fill up your bottle with water, pop in a pod, and that's it. So you're not, there's not as much waste. Um, they have a very light scent, so it's not overpowering at all. And I personally think they're affordable. They're also non-toxic. Um, I have a coupon code for 25% off. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make anything if you use my link. And I just say that because I'm like, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I just, I do believe they're good products. And I just like that they are really affordable. So I will have all of like the link in the coupon code in the description as well. You touch me in a way that makes me shiver Sometimes I can't believe that you are mine Love's a gun and baby, you're my trigger You kiss me in a way that gets me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right Just being around you We could break I have never used Dawn Power Wash in the bathroom, but a lot of people rave about it. So I was like, let's give it a try. I really, really like Dawn Power Wash. And so I was like, hey, if it's so great in the kitchen, it's got to be great in the bathroom. And I use it on my shower doors and it did a really good job. I've also heard people saying to keep one in your laundry room. So when you have stains, you just spray it on there, let it sit for a few minutes and then wash like normal. I have not tried that, but I need to. Okay, day two. Yes, I'm wearing the same pants, but um, it was day two and I was getting started upstairs and I wanted to get started in the laundry room first because the twins' bedroom is right next to the laundry room and Mike was feeding them lunch, but they were going to be going down for their nap soon and I wanted to get the laundry room taken care of before they went down for their nap because it's like, why risk waking them up, you know? So I was wiping everything down with the Mrs. Myers Lavender Multi-Surface Spray. Um, I keep that upstairs. And I just like how the scent kind of lingers throughout the upstairs when I clean with it. But I was wiping things down, vacuuming, and then I was going to clean the grout with my Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner, which so many of you guys have messaged me and said there's a grout pen. And I do plan on getting that. I do. I just always forget about it. I just need to like order it offline or something. But I love the Resolve. And honestly, unless your grout's really dirty, you probably don't even have to scrub because it, it's a carpet cleaner, so it cleans carpet, so it does an effective job of cleaning the grout as is. Wanna put you in that spotlight 
So to clean the floors in here, and you'll actually see me using this in the bathrooms as well, but it's the Bona Antibacterial Floor Cleaner, and it works on ceramic tile, laminate, a bunch of different flooring. I think it's a new product. Um, I saw it recently at Target, but I've loved using it on our bathrooms. I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Hey guys, are you ready for some extreme cleaning, decluttering, and organizing? I'm going to be cleaning out two closets, decluttering and organizing them, also trying out a new budget-friendly cleaning tool for you guys, as well as decorating and organizing my laundry room, so get ready to do some speed cleaning, decluttering, and organizing with me. Hello to all of my friends. Yes, you. I'm talking about you. You are my friend. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making time out of your busy, busy day, your busy, busy week to be here with me. I truly don't know where I would be without all of you in my life. So thank you for being here. And today you are joining me for two days of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I'm going to be cleaning out two closets. One of them is my linen closet and I will be decluttering and organizing. And then I also have my laundry room. I'm going to be organizing and cleaning out. So yes, that's some guacamole that had gotten spilled. The twins had spilled it on the rug earlier in the day because we were using it as a dip for chips. They love to dip dip anything. Um, but I had recently got this new cleaning tool that I wanted to test out for you guys because it's more of a budget friendly than some of my bigger carpet cleaners. And I just want to be able to try different cleaning tools for you guys if you have a smaller budget just to give you guys another option. So I'm going to be showing you that as well. So stay tuned. So I had some areas in my home, like my laundry room that I wanted to organize and then my linen closet. I guess I'm still trying to be mindful of spending money, decluttering and organizing, cleaning and all of that, or just in my house, just because, you know, we're, we're currently house hunting and I know eventually we're gonna move. So I don't wanna dump a lot of money into my house right now, waste it organizing a space when we could find a house next week and then move and will all of that stuff translate into the new house. So we still haven't found that house yet. So it's like, well, organizing and cleaning does need to happen. So my goal over the next couple of, of days was to find organizing solutions that were more budget friendly, that I could add to the spaces that were driving me crazy that needed to be organized and cleaned out. And I want them to look nice um, and organized, but just not spend too much money. And in this video today, it is sponsored by walmart.com. And I want to thank them for partnering with me. It just, it truly blows my mind that walmart.com would want to partner with me. And I also want to thank you guys for supporting me when I have sponsored content. Um, I am going to be doing giveaways in upcoming videos because I don't take sponsored content lightly. And I want to be able to give back to you guys since you help support me through these sponsored videos. So um, the Bissell Little Green Machine 
that I'm going to be testing out on the rug. I'm going to be giving out one of those. I'm also going to be giving out a cordless vacuum in some upcoming videos. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those giveaways. And I'm going to continue doing more giveaways. Just a way to say thank you. I was using the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser on my stovetop and then I was using it or I was scrubbing it with the scrub mommy sponge which is my all-time favorite sponge that I use in combination with the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser and then I was just wiping it down and shining my glass cooktop stove with the Jaws glass and mirror cleaner. So a couple of days ago, I just went online and ordered a bunch of stuff from walmart.com to organize my laundry room and linen closet. And then I got some cleaning tools. Oh, and while I was doing all of this cleaning, I was also washing our pillows and blankets from our bedroom and the washing machine. But when I was online, I came across the Bissell Little Green Machine and I just thought it was a really good price. It was $89. And you guys know I have the big upright Bissell carpet cleaner, the Pro Heat Pro Pet carpet cleaner, and it also has an attachment. Well, this is, I mean, it's the same thing, but it's just the attachment. And I get a lot of you guys who say you don't have carpet. You don't have a lot of carpet, but you want the attachment so you can clean your furniture or your car, or if you do have carpet on your stairs or something, or even if you don't have the budget for a big carpet cleaner, this is a great budget-friendly alternative. So I got it to test it out for you guys. And what do you know, um, just a few days later, it shows up and I had the opportunity for me to actually use it. There's always messes to be cleaned up in my home with those twin tornadoes, like I like to call them. But like I said, this retails for $89.99. It's super easy to use and you will say, see how well it got the guacamole stain up from the rug. It also made my rug a lot cleaner and a lot brighter, um, but I was also gonna test it out on my couch, the, just the two cu cushions. I wasn't gonna do all of my couch. I didn't have time this day, but I had the two cushions where I think it's used the most, where the kids seem to sit the most. I wanted to just like test it out and give it a really good test for you guys so i was going to test it on those cushions but make sure you stick around because we're going to be moving on to the laundry room on day two right after this on day two um i'm going to be tackling that laundry room and i ended up being in love with how everything turned out when i was done organizing
So I will be giving one of these away in Sunday's video. So you're seeing this on Thursday, so next Sunday's video. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I just want to start giving back to you guys more because I am grateful that you're here. So if you want a chance to win this and a cordless vacuum, keep watching for some of my upcoming videos. The twins were sleeping in the room next door to the laundry room, so I was trying to be super quiet while I was in there. I kind of hate how the laundry room is right next to their room. Okay, so day two, are we ready? This is what I'm more excited for. So I have a variety of products that I got when I was shopping online at walmart.com and you know, my goal for all of this was to make a little bit of updates in my laundry room, make it look a little bit nicer, organize, declutter, put better systems in place for the kids so they can help keep the, so we can make my life a little bit easier and they can keep the house cleaner as well. Um, but obviously being mindful of spending and not spending too much money because, you know, I know we're not gonna stay in this house much longer and I just don't wanna dump a lot of money but I still want my house to look nice. I still want it to be organized um, because we don't know when we're gonna move, so. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies, oh baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine and when I get done with this, you'll see that I didn't do anything overly crazy. It's not like a dramatic transformation in here, but it definitely looks a lot better and it makes you realize that it doesn't take a lot of money or time to make a room look better. And that's why it was nice because when I was shopping on walmart.com, I was able to get some really affordable organizational solutions that really made a big impact. And they also came super quickly to my house, which was nice. But as you can see, it has clearly been a while since I had to since I had really cleaned the shelves um, you know I love cleaning but I can't get to every corner of my home so I guess dust had just built up but at least I was tackling it today I kind of go back and forth with what type of laundry detergent I use, but I've been using Tide just because I use it to clean my floor, so it's just like easy to have it. Um, just get like a big box. And then I also typically use an oxygen whitener powder um, to throw in as a stain remover. So I got these big jar, jar canisters from walmart.com and the jars were just under $9. So they're a really nice size for just under $9. Um, and then I think it was like, $8.95 or something like that and then I got this little laundry caddy which I just thought added a little bit of decoration but also served a purpose. I got the gray one. They also have a cream color one and I was using it to put all of my stain remover stuff in there because I have multiple stain remover sprays and 
I even do my own DIY stain remover and it just depends on the type of stain it is, how long it has been set in and so it's just kind of nice to pull the whole caddy down when I have a stain and choose what I'm going to use and I will have all of this stuff um, linked in the description. So the laundry room sign that I have, I've actually had that for multiple years and I used to just set it on the shelf and it would get lost on the shelf and I decided it would look better if I put it over the sink, which you'll see here in a little bit. And I thought I had my camera running when I put it, I hung it up with some command strips, but I didn't. So I had put it up and you guys will have to let me know if you like where I placed it. So I was trying to decide if I wanted it with the shelves or with the ceiling and the countertop. So I was just trying to figure it out. You guys can see here later, but I wanted while I was cleaning this laundry room, like deep cleaning it, I wanted to clean the walls and I was just using Dawn dish soap and hot water in the mop bucket. And then I have this little wall cleaner, which allows me, it has like a flat head. It's like a mop, but it has a flat head and it just allows me to get high up on the corners where I wouldn't be able to reach otherwise and get those cobwebs. You can see where I hung the sign and I couldn't decide, like I said, if I wanted it um, in between the two shelves or if I should put it between, like line it up with the top of, or t with the ceiling and the, um, the sink. So you guys can let me know what you think would look better, if it looks good where it is, or if we should move it up a little bit higher. one of my cheapest and easiest ways to organize whether you have cleaning products here I have on the back of my laundry room and we keep our laundry room door open anyways for the most part so this is really unused space and you can just store so many things like I store some of my brushes my miscellaneous cleaners cleaners that I use up here my cleaning toothbrush it just is an easy way to have all of your cleaning supplies organized and again, space that is un 
otherwise not going to be used. And I also like how it's all tucked away. Like nobody would ever see this, you know? Anyone who comes over is never going to see this. So, and I like how all of the cleaning products are here on display. So I know when I need my Tide antibacterial fabric spray, it is right there. I can see it. So highly, highly recommend doing this. That is why I bought the other shoe organizer. I bought it for my mom. I'm going to take it over there so she can organize some of her cleaning products in her closets that are right off of her laundry room. They have two closets and I just think it's going, <laughs> I mean, they're going to be able to put two of these in that closet and store a lot of their cleaning products that are taking up space in cabinets and everything. So definitely get one of these shoe organizers. I also have one in my pantry. So it's just a great inexpensive organizing solution. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing a fight, even though there's over. Like I said, this was nothing dramatic, but I just feel like adding that little caddy in the jars and just decluttering everything else really made a nice difference. And of course, adding a nice candle, which I've been obsessed with, the Better Homes and Gardens candles, the pumpkin banana bread, as well as they have a caramel van like vanilla caramel spice that is amazing. And they're just, they're so big, they throw out a lot of scent, which I love, but now we are moving on to the bathroom and the linen closet and it was just a, a mess as you can see um it was a mess but i'm not going to do anything crazy in here i i don't want to spend a lot of money organizing but i just want to do more decluttering getting rid of stuff making things look nicer and it was crazy to me how many empty containers i found in here and you'll see when i get done how much better everything looked and again i didn't do anything crazy so it just makes you realize i know organizing and decluttering can get very overwhelming sometimes you don't know where to start and you're just overwhelmed and you feel like all this pressure to make it look nice and get all these organizational baskets and things like that but if you do what i did i mean i just went in pulled everything out, decluttered, and then grouped things together, like things together. And it just makes you realize that I know organizing can be overwhelming, but if you just start out by removing everything and just decluttering, like step one, just do that. And don't just try to worry about like organizing maybe another time, but just getting rid of a lot of stuff can make you feel so much better. So I don't know. I just ended up now, like I've been opening this door and I'm like, oh, it looks so much better when I really didn't do anything crazy. So you can do a lot on a smaller budget um, and organizing a space. Okay, so again, to enter the giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to my Jamie's Journey YouTube channel, have the bell notifications turned on so you get notified every time I post a video, and then answer this question. So my question for you is, what is a trait that you absolutely love and admire about yourself? I know we're always so hard on ourselves, and we tend to pick ourselves apart and focus on the negative, but I want you to focus on the positive. What is a trait that you love about yourself? Good luck, you guys, and thank you again. Again, this will end on Thursday, August 18th, and I will announce the winner on Friday, August 19th, 2002. So I was reorganizing everything with the exception of the very top shelf. That's where we have a lot of our extra blankets that we don't use, like unless we had, like Avery had a bunch of friends over or something like that. I do plan on vacuum sealing them in a bag. I had gotten those from walmart.com. Um, and then I got these um, under the bed storage organizers that I was gonna put those bags into. I had ordered those yesterday, so they hadn't arrived. So that's why I didn't do it in today's video, but I plan on doing that and, um, eventually. 
So I think the blankets just always look so sloppy up there. I can never fold them and make them look nice. So I think this will, it'll be nice to shrink them all down and create more space. Okay, so please ignore this mess. I know it looks so bad. Um, going into decluttering this area, I knew I was not going to tackle this because there are some of the vacuum sealed bags that I ordered and I'm still waiting on a couple of the under the bed storage like I did with the girls clothing um, a couple of weeks ago. So you just put your blankets, pillows, clothes, shrink it down. And then I bought some under the bed storage that I put under the girls' cribs. And I bought some to put under our bed over there and they just have not come in yet. So I just ordered them. So I have these and my plan is to do with all of this as well. So these are just extra blankets that we don't need. Um, we don't use on a regular basis, but you know, um, it's just still blankets I wanna keep around in case Avery has a bunch of friends over, we lose power, you know things like that. So these are just all of the extra blankets that we have other than the blankets we have in our living room. This does need to be reorganized for sure. So I am going to do that soon. Um, but this looks so much better and it's completely clear down here. I was able to get rid of like a whole bag full of like containers, packaging, stuff that had expired, things like that. And this is just, this is what I laid on our bed when I do my self tanner, um, just so it doesn't get on my white sheets and I need to, I'm gonna wash those and then put those away since I'm really not doing self tanner anymore now that we're the, at the end of September. But I was even able to declutter my little cleaning caddy. So looks much nicer. And then when I was done with the linen closet, I was just doing a very basic wipe down of the vanity. And then I was going to vacuum just because when I was decluttering the linen closet, a lot of stuff had gotten on the floor. So I was just gonna vacuum. And then I'm also gonna go out in the hallway. I'm gonna show you a new laundry basket I got. It, it's a solution that I'm hoping makes laundry a little bit easier. Um, and I also plan to put a little bit more responsibility onto my kids. I mean, Avery already takes on a lot of re responsibility, um, but I also want to put a little bit more into the twins' hands and make my life a little bit easier with the laundry. So I'll show that to you. And then we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to clean and declutter and reorganize the hall closet, which had become such a mess. So it will be nice that that is done. That had been on my list for so long and it was just nice to finally get it done. And again, this is a vacuum that I'm going to be giving away in an upcoming video.
So I thought about this idea and I thought it would be better for me, um, for everyone to put the clothes hamper out here in the hallway and start having Avery when she has dirty clothes to put them out here and then same with the twins. Um, Cause I've noticed that a lot of times I'll start laundry in the morning before the twins get up, they're sleeping or during nap time and then I can't go into the room and then their clothes don't get cleaned. And also, I mean, I know it sounds lazy, but it just cuts out one extra step. So typically I take our laundry hamper, get our laundry, go to Avery's room, go to the twins room and then go to the laundry room, which is on the way. It's not a big deal, but I just like the idea of keeping it here. Even if we have, you know, dirty clothes downstairs, which sometimes happen, the kids will get dressed sometimes downstairs. You know, when I come up, instead of having to throw them in their room in their dirty clothes hamper, I can just throw it up here as I come up. And I also wanted something, when I was shopping on Walmart, I wanted something that looked a little bit nicer since it's out in the open. And so I thought this was pretty cute. It was a good price. And, and I also wanna implore a little bit of responsibility in my kids. I know sometimes it's just easier to do it yourself as a mom, um, but she a lot of times will not get her clothes in the hamper and I'm gonna get to a point where if it's not in the hamper, then it's not gonna get washed. And with the twins, I mean, two and a half, I understand that they have the ability to clean up, but it's not always the easiest to make two two-year-olds clean up. But I think what I'm gonna start now is when we change them, like at the end of the night, we put their pajamas on. I'm gonna say, okay, hey, girls, grab your clothes, go take them out in the hallway. And I'm gonna start having them even put their clothes and start helping out a little bit. So I think this will add a little bit of responsibility for all three girls, which will be nice. And it's right by the bathroom. So whether they're getting a bath or a shower, we can just reach around, throw it in there. And I think it'll just kind of streamline things a little bit, and make things a little bit easier. Okay, this has been something that has been on my to-do list and I'm finally getting around to it. So this is our mud room, I guess. And I created this in January and it's been awesome, perfect. But usually at the start of a new season, I like to come in, reorganize it. You know, in the spring, I'll get rid of coats. I'll add coats here in the fall and just make room for new things as well as declutter some of the shoes in here that are too small for the kids or get rid of a lot of the sandals and start bringing in boots and things like that. So I'm going to pull everything out, clean this out and just make it look, just make it look a little bit better. So this is one of my all-time favorite purchases from walmart.com. Um, I actually am thinking about getting some more and I think because it's a pretty well-built bookcase as you can see when it's vertical but I flipped it on its side. You can use it as a cubby system um, but I think the reason why I like it is because I would actually use this in my living room because it's a gray distress color and I'm thinking maybe in the front room like if I want to do something in there maybe using this but I just like that it looks a little bit nicer than just like the white cubicle the white cube organizers you guys know what I'm talking about and I just like how it's not all one color
Avery's tennis shoes or casual shoes, her boots, fall boots, the twins shoes. Mike just keeps one pair of tennis shoes down here. And then I have my shoes. But I found all of these masks back there in the baskets under the cube organizers so and random socks and then these are all the shoes summer shoes I'm gonna take upstairs and some patio stuff that I kept back there which I don't think we're gonna need much longer This is another one of my favorite vacuums. I always reach for the cordless vacuums just because they're a lot easier to use, but I do know this corded vacuum, the Shark Apex Uplight vacuum does suck up more, more dog fur, more dust and dirt. So I do love using this. It is my go-to cordless vacuum. People ask me what vacuum do I recommend if you have a good amount of carpet this is it love this vacuum of course I don't love the cord but I do think it's more powerful than my cordless vacuums so I've always said this but I will have a corded vacuum and a cordless as long as I'm able to um, but this is a wonderful awesome vacuum I forgot to close out the video I feel like I do that all of the time. I think I just get so happy when I am done with my video and not to mention it's usually like, oh, the twins are waking up for their nap or we have somewhere to go. I have to get dinner started or get Avery to volleyball or something like that. Like we have somewhere to go that I just finish up what I need to do and then I totally forget to say goodbye to you guys. So here I am saying goodbye to you. And again, thank you for spending supporting me when I do sponsored content. Um, like I said, I don't take doing sponsored content lightly and it's really important to me. I think I've said this before that I always want to make for sure that my content is balanced and I always want to make for sure I have more videos that are not sponsored than sponsored in a month. Um, so that's why I've added some more videos just because I want to I want to seem genuine and I want to give you guys content that's not always sponsored. Um, but when Walmart came to me and like the two other ones that I did, I just, it, they were brands and companies that I just was so grateful to work with that I didn't want to say no to. So I hope you guys understand. And um, like I said, I'll be doing giveaways just to say thank you. So thank you guys for sticking around and being here with me. You guys are amazing. Um, but I guess I will see you next time. Bye. Hope you have a good day. Hey guys, welcome back to another spring cleaning video. And in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning all over my house, but focusing on the master bedroom. We will be removing furniture, cleaning under the bed, which I have never done. So there were some surprises under there, some really gross surprises and cleaning the carpets in there because I had also never cleaned the carpets in our bedroom. So a lot of satisfying cleaning in today's video. I'm also gonna be cleaning windows, window trays, Tracking windows inside and outside, cleaning with the girls, cl deep cleaning my mattress, and just getting it done over two days. So let's get ready and let's do this. And give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving and ready to get things done.
Hey guys, welcome back. I appreciate you guys coming back each and every week to watch my videos. Thank you. If you're new, hello, I'm Jamie. You are in for some serious cleaning motivation today. I'm going to be speed cleaning all over my home. You're going to see me cleaning floors, washing bedding, washing pillows, washing windows inside and outside, cleaning some super muddy window tracking. I'm going to be deep cleaning carpets deep cleaning my mattress and so much more. So this was day one. Say hi to my twins. Emery is on the left. Addison is on the right and they were eating lunch. And what I like to do before they go down for their nap, because that's when I get moving and get cleaning, I like to kind of do a pre-workout and I know I've talked about this before but like a, a pre-cleaning workout you know so what I was planning on doing was going around picking things up off of the floors and the countertops because you know when if you've ever cleared like your countertops in your kitchen or the floors in your living room if it was really messy then you instantly kind of feel feel motivated and you just want to keep going so i've noticed that if i get started before nap just do something small have them in their high chairs while they're eating a snack or lunch or maybe some small activity and i can just do something small so as soon as i lay them down i don't go sit on the couch i get moving that little pre-cleaning workout before they go down from their nap motivates me to keep going so I just got started by picking things up off of the floors and the countertops. And then when they go down for their nap, I was going to get started in our bedroom and wait till you see the surprise that I found when we lifted up our bed. So I'm using the Jaws granite cleaner on my countertops and then the Jaws kitchen degreaser on my stovetop and then the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray on the high chairs and the kitchen table. Um, and if you guys don't know, I'm kind of going around every room in my house and really focusing each week on one room and just deep cleaning it. So, you know, cleaning carpets if it needs to be done, moving furniture, vacuuming behind furniture, cleaning windows, window tracking, baseboards, and all of that stuff that I don't always get to in those rooms. You know, I tend to focus more on the living room and the kitchen, but not on our master bedroom under my bed or behind furniture. And I know you guys keep saying that, oh, I deep clean every inch of my house, but you'll see, apparently I had forgotten to remove my bed and clean under that periodically. And it's not entirely my own fault because it's not an easy bed that you can just move. You guys will see what I mean. You can't just pick it up or scoot it out of the way. They're the supports that hold up the bed. They, you, you like it's a pain to move. So you can't even vacuum under there just because of how far it goes down to the ground. So I had never cleaned under there. And our cat, which we no longer have, unfortunately, he passed away about a month ago, but he liked to lay under there. I guess we didn't know about it. And there was so much cat fur and unfortunately cat puke matted into the carpet so today i'm focusing on the bedroom um, and then um, earlier in the day i had gotten started by washing our bedding and i was planning on washing it all washing the mattress well not in the washing machine but deep cleaning the mattress washing the mattress cover the pillows because we're spring cleaning i wanted to do it all mm -hmm. Later on in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about some behind the scenes YouTube stuff, kind of more of the back end YouTube stuff. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you stick around. We will get a little bit chatty about YouTube later on in the video. But you guys say you, you like learning a little bit more about me and just, you know, you like hearing about the cleaning, but you want to know more about just random chats, I guess. So 
I was, I heard, I saw this somewhere the other day. It, people were talking about weird, like random weird things about themselves. And I started thinking about weird random attributes of Jamie and I'm going to share them with you guys. So number one, I wear socks to bed. I know that's crazy. I wear socks to bed even in the summer. I always have. I always will. I just like wearing my socks. Number two, I always have to have lotion on my entire body. When I get out of the shower, I have to put lotion on. I cannot stand it if I don't have lotion on my body. It drives me crazy. I put lotion on from head to toe. Love my lotion. I cannot stand skin that doesn't have lotion on it. Third, I don't like it when wet hair sits on my shoulders or my back. So when I wash my hair in, like if I get a shower, I always dry it with a hair dryer. If I go swimming, I honestly try not to get my hair wet because I cannot, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I hate the feeling of wet hair on my back. I always have. So if I do go swimming, get my hair wet, then I'll throw it up in a ponytail or a bun, but I cannot stand wet ha that wet hair feeling. It drives me crazy. So I just think those are so random and really weird, but I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you have any weird random facts about yourself, feel free to share them in the comment section. How totally gross is this? Matted cat fur on the carpet, and you can tell exactly where our cat pretty much laid every single day. And I'm sorry, I hope this is not too gross for you. Um, he probably had hairballs in there and threw up and we didn't even know about it. This is honestly really embarrassing for you guys to see. Um, I also had a lot of random stuff under there, a tennis ball, a package of animal crackers, a sleeping mask. I think there was some of the Vicks sore throat spray, like a empty bottle under there. So you better believe I'm going to be cleaning under here more frequently. And I know you guys can't really tell, but those wooden slats that go across the bed frame, um, under there, there's supports. There's probably about four per slat, wood slat. And if you just try to like move the bed, they wiggle. Um, I have no idea if that makes sense. So basically the only way for me to clean the bed is to remove the, the um, box springs and then the mattress, which I cannot physically move the mattress myself. So luckily Mike was able to help me out, but I'm going to be doing this way more frequently so it doesn't get like that. Um, and then this is just where dog fur and dust and probably my nightly snacks that I eat in bed, like popcorn and crumbs collected. So pretty gross. I will stay with you until the end. Me be in the How are you guys doing? I, I like checking in to see how you guys are doing in life. Are you hanging in there? If you are new, I appreciate you for coming to Jamie's journey and for being here. I hope you feel a part of the community and I hope I can make your life a little bit better in some way, whether it's giving you motivation or seeing someone who has a messy house and you know, is just trying to get by with life. But either way, we're friends hanging out and that's why I kind of like talking about random stuff because we're friends just talking about random stuff and I'm grateful for you guys I'm glad that you're here and if you're not subscribed I would love for you guys to subscribe and join my journey to be mine to be mine I ought to say yeah 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 you know I want to
So that area where our cat chase had laid, the carpet was so matted down. And so many of you guys tell me I need to get a carpet rake, which I don't have yet. Um, but I went and found an old comb and I was using that to kind of rake up the area. And then I went over it multiple times with the Bissell carpet cleaner. And honestly, when I was all done, I don't even think it looked 100%. But if the Bissell carpet cleaner was not going to get it, back to normal I don't know what will but with the carpet cleaner there is a max clean a deep clean and an express clean so you can choose which one you want to do I you guys ask me all of, all of the time how long it takes me or how long does it take for the carpet to dry so depends on what setting you have um and also I don't always show this on camera but when I'm done cleaning the carpet sometimes I'll go back over the carpet and suck up like you don't have to keep pushing out water you can just keep sucking up the water sometimes I do that two or three times after I'm done cleaning it just to make sure I have as much water out of the carpet as possible and that cuts down you know on the drying time but with the express um, clean I mean, the carpets, I think, were cleaned and or dried in less than two hours. But I did do the max clean for that one spot just because I knew that that was kind of a gross area. I think I had said this earlier in the video, but I had never cleaned these carpets. They've never been deep cleaned and it was very apparent um, that they had never been cleaned because when I was done, the water in the tank was the dirtiest and darkest I have ever seen other than when I cleaned our cars out last summer, which you expect mats of a car to be pretty dirty, you know? So these carpets were pretty dirty and they're what shocked me the most there were so many chunks of fur that was pulled up from the carpet like way more than any other time i've cleaned carpets in my house and i remember this happened when i was when i cleaned the living room carpet and the basement carpet for the first time i remember big chunks of fur um and yeah that's all that was pulled up from under the bed how crazy is that just just from vacuuming under the bed not the whole bedroom but that's how much I pulled out using the vacuum that got embedded into the carpet. You don't realize how crazy and how dirty it was under there until you see it like that. You guys got mad at me totally in a joking way when I said that I had cleaned an area that I had never cleaned before. And you guys were like, oh, Jamie, you clean every area in your home. You can't say that. But these window trackings, I had seriously never cleaned before. And it was apparent. there was They were such a pain to clean because the dirt in there, it was almost 
so caked on, it was more muddy. It was more like heavy mud than just dirt. It was very heavy and thick, thick, so it wasn't just dirt in there. And I don't know why, usually in the front of the house, it's more of like dusty dirt in here. And then the back of the house, it's more like mud. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I used my Bissell hand steamer to loosen everything up. And then I kept going over and over it with paper towels because there was so much dirt in there. And then I used my Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar. When I had gotten as much as I could out of there, I used the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar spray to wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And that combo did the trick. There's, there still was some dirt and mud in the corners. I just couldn't get out. And I think with the window tracking, it's near impossible to get into every little crack. I tried my best, but I do have something else that might work for deep in those window tracking cracks. I do have to get something to try it out, so stay tuned for that because I want to try this out with some other window trackings in our house. So like I said, I was washing all of the bedding. Typically, I just do the sheets and the one blanket, but I was cleaning the mattress pad, the pillows. I was doing it all. And in the past, I don't know, maybe a year, I had been using or washing our sheets with um, bleach. Not washing it with bleach, but I had added bleach to the washer. And I've been having, my, my skin's been freaking out a lot, some skin reactions. So I didn't know if maybe that was it or not. Maybe the bleach was being too harsh, at least on my skin here in the winter. So I switched to the Molly Suds Oxygen Whitener when I wash our sheets. And I get that from Grove Collaborative and it's been doing the trick. So talking about more of the back end of YouTube stuff. So I recently dropped a video a month. So my schedule is posting every Sunday and then every other Thursday. It used to be every Thursday. Um, but I've noticed that since my channel has grown and gotten bigger, a lot of little things start to add up. So I think one of the biggest things is the amount of comments I get now, the amount of emails, the amount of comments I get on Instagram. I mean, on days that videos go live and probably the day or two afterwards, I spend easily at least, and I am not exaggerating, three hours, I mean, over the course of the day answering comments on YouTube and Instagram. Um, and obviously the more I post or the more the bigger I get, the more comments I get. And it's so important to me that I'm answering your comments um, and videos. So just to give you guys an idea, so when I film, so if you look at today's video, I filmed over the course of two days, it was probably around seven hours of actual cleaning time. But in reality with me filming, it probably adds on at least two hours of time because you're moving the camera around, you're trying to get different angles, and you're stopping to make for sure the camera got that like clip or whatever. So it adds on cleaning time. And then on top of that, editing. So editing this video that you're seeing took me, um, I think between 10 and 12 hours to edit. So that's so crazy. And I just found myself I just noticed this, like I'm not doing anything different right now than I was doing six months ago or a year ago or even two years ago. But if you have a channel that has a thousand subscribers, you're obviously not getting the amount of comments or emails, um, or there's just like little things, you know, that I've learned to do over time that I think help make my videos better quality. And that's all stuff you learn with time. And so, I've noticed specifically recently that I was working, the kids would go to bed at 7.30, um, 8 o'clock, and then I would start working on YouTube stuff. And every night I would be working until 11.30, every single night. 
and I don't want to I'm not complaining you guys I'm not because I love it like this is my hobby this is what I get to do and I love it but I realized that I had stopped reading I had stopped watching tv <laughs> um like other than working out four to five days a week for half an hour that was literally the only thing I was doing for myself because I was constantly doing youtube and even though I love it you know I mean, I'm not supporting my family through YouTube. Mike has a wonderful job that supports our family. So I'm able to go down a video. You know, I have the luxury of being able to do that because I'm not supporting our family. Um, so um, yeah, I don't know. YouTube, like cleaning videos take a really, really, really long time. And it's just important to me that I can keep that communication open with you guys and answering your comments. So that's why I went down a video. And you guys have been so supportive of that. But if you guys have any questions on YouTube, like the back end of things or something you're curious about, let me know and I can start answering those questions in the videos. <laughs> Once we had moved and cleaned under the furniture, I was able to, to do the rest of the room. And again, I, I was cleaning the carpets with the express setting on the carpet cleaner. So the carpets don't get very wet at all. And I had a fan going, the ceiling fan going in the room. I had cracked open the windows and the furniture doesn't sit directly on the floor. So totally okay. Um, and if you guys want to see or say hi to my girls, they will be at the end of the video saying hi. So after this long day of cleaning, I had actually closed out the video because I thought I was going to be done. But then two days later, I ended up doing some more cleaning. So I figured I'd throw that in the video. Um, but I had already closed out the video on this one day. So just so it made sense with the flow of the video, I put that closing out portion with the girls at the very end of this video so they're wearing the same clothes that they were wearing earlier in the day you'll see that but I hope that makes sense I didn't expect to continue cleaning two days later but I did and I threw it in there so you can say hi to the girls a little bit later how gross is that water it's so dark and the chunks of the fur in there it's insane it's so gross but when i am done i am gonna go back into the bedroom and i wanted to clean the fan um we have a vent in there that's near the ce ceiling that i wanted to clean and i wanted to deep clean our mattress our fan actually wasn't too dirty at all i just clean that um, so it wasn't dusty um, but I wanted to get up by the light and get into all of the grooves but I was using my hand vacuum to do that um, but I just kind of wanted to finish out the rest of the bedroom by doing those few things and then cleaning our mattress so I was going to clean it um, and then also disinfect it. Okay, so to clean the bed, I just sprinkled some baking soda all over the bed. Um, you can even add some essential oils if you want to, but sprinkle the baking soda all over. You don't I mean spr sprinkle as much as you want. Don't be afraid of sprinkling too much. And I rubbed it into the mattress and then you just want to let it sit for at least an hour as long as you can. It was kind of getting late for us, so I didn't let it sit as long as I wanted it to. And then I got our shop vac from the garage and vacuumed it all up. I've read a lot of things about how bad it is to vacuum up baking soda with a vacuum that it can ruin the vacuum so you want to be careful um, and I just wanted to err on the side of caution and use the shop vac because we have one um, and then the other part with the mattress is you want to be careful with if you have any stains you don't want to get it too wet you don't want to put a lot of water on your mattress I do have some self tan tanner stains which I have no idea how it made it through all of the layers of the sheets and the mattress pad um, that I want to try to tackle at some point but I didn't have time today so I'll do that another day 
but then I also wanted to disinfect the mattress and I was using some isopropyl or rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, kind of the same thing. Um, and I just, I didn't spray too much on there. I just kind of misted it on the mattress and then I let it sit for a little bit. Um, it serves as a disinfectant. And then I also read that it can propel or repel um, bed bugs, so. So it is day two that you're seeing me clean. It is nap time. So I'm gonna get to work. I don't really have a ton I wanna do today, but I am going to do some things down here and then go upstairs and work up there and hopefully get a lot done. But hopefully you guys are still here, ready for some more motivation and some chats. You guys letting me know that you like hearing more, just not, like you like hearing about the cleaning, but also non-cleaning content. It's been kind of more fun for me and my voiceovers to kind of share just, you know, more chatting with you. Um, more like if we were just sitting down, having a cup of coffee and chatting back and forth. So that's kind of fun. So stick around for more chats and more cleaning. I wanna hold your body close to me. I wanna take you away. So this was another nap time clean and I was planning on doing some things down here and then moving upstairs and cleaning some bathrooms. Um, but you're going to see me using my new Tinco cordless vacuum and they did send it to me and I've been using it for a while and it's something that I really want to share with you. I think it's a great option if you're in the market for a cordless vacuum. I was thinking about this the other day because you guys probably see me use multiple vacuums and I get messages all of the time. People asking me, what vacuum do you recommend? And I've said this before about other cleaners or just other cleaning supplies, but I don't think there's one vacuum that I can re recommend to everyone. I think certain vacuums are better for certain people and their, situ their situations. So the best way to kind of explain this is, okay, take my situation, my kids, my dog, my house and compare it to my parents. So if my mom came to me and said, hey, I need a new vacuum, what vacuum would you recommend? Well, personally, my go-to top vacuum for my house is my Shark Apex Uplight, the cord corded vacuum. However, I would not recommend that to my mom because my parents have a much smaller house. It's all on one floor. They have almost a majority of hardwood flooring they only have carpets in the bedroom and they don't have pets. They don't have kids. They don't have a lot of traffic, people coming in and out. And they really prefer something that's super lightweight, as lightweight as possible. So even though I think the shark is my top vacuum, it's the one that I love, but it's because I mostly have carpets. I have a big shedding dog. I have three kids. We have a lot of traffic in and out of our house. Does that make sense? So I think it's, it really depends on your specific situations. I'll tell you right now that I don't think this Tinco cordless vacuum is better than the Dyson. I don't think the Dyson is better than the Tinco. They both have different, different attributes that can be appealing to different people and their different situations. So for example, the Tinco only has one power level. The Dyson has two. It has an extended run and a max run. The Tinco, one day, I vacuumed my entire house, all three floors, the basement, the entire basement, the entire upstairs, living room, kitchen, bathrooms, literally every room in my house, and it was still going. It was not dead at that point there was still power. My Dyson cannot do that. Nowhere even close, especially on max suction. The Tinco is also super lightweight. I think it weighs less than three pounds. I don't know how much my Dyson weighs, but it definitely weighs more than that. So the Tinco is lightweight. It claims that it has 70 minutes of vacuum time and it costs less than the Dyson. However, I love I love another scenario is, you know, I really like my Dyson um, because if I need something just quick and I don't want to deal with the shark and the cord um, because I have hardwood downstairs and carpet, I like to be able to use my Dyson because it has the low suction that I can use in the kitchen on the hardwood floors and then um, the max suction for my carpets because that's truly what my carpet needs. So this is my long winded way of saying is the 
Tinco, a great vacuum. Yes, it is. Is it better than the Dyson? Is it better than the Shark? No. But it, do you guys know what I'm trying to say here? It just, they all have different attributes. Um, if you, if you need something that is lightweight, that weighs, or that is less money than the Dyson, you need something that runs, um, long. The Tinco also has a trigger so you can click it over and you don't have to hold down to keep vacuuming. So especially if you're vacuuming the whole house, you know, when I was doing that, I just pulled the trigger and then I didn't have to keep holding down the button to keep it going. Um, but again, I really like my Dyson because of that max suction feature is there which i think is really important that i need for my carpets and the tinco doesn't have that like testing out new products for you because for you guys because i know everyone's situation is different and i also want you guys to know that um i don't just accept every product i get i'll tell you right now that i reject 99 percent of things because at the end of the day it's just things you know but if it's something I think I might be interested in, I do some research. I do a lot of research. I see what people say about the company. Um, I look at reviews online. And then I also look at, okay, well, could you guys, the people watching my videos, could you benefit from this? And I really liked how lightweight this was. I liked the long running time and then the trigger so you don't have to hold a button down. The two biggest complaints I get from you guys about the Dyson is the battery life and how crappy it is and then the price and this one is you know cheaper. So because of the positive reviews um, about the company and the vacuums and all of that I'm like you know what I think I would really like to check this out and give it a good review for you guys. So, um, so again, my Shark Vacuum is, is my number one vacuum, the one that I love because I have a lot of carpets in my house. But if my mom asked me, I would not recommend the, the Shark Apex Uplight to my mom because I don't love it for my hardwood floors. I use it sometimes on my hardwood floors, but it's not my favorite vacuum for hardwood floors. So I hope all of that makes sense. Um, and I hope that when I feature a product on my channel, you guys know that there's been some extensive research done to make for sure it's a good product. So what you're seeing me do here on day two upstairs, this didn't take me all afternoon or all nap time to do. I had started out and got some things done um, and then I was downstairs doing you know, some other things, getting dinner started and all of that and I did some relaxing as well. But then when the twins woke up, I really wanted to tackle their room because it always is a disaster. <laughs> so um, and I was done in the bathrooms and then I went and popped into their room. Um, they were downstairs with Mike. So I was able to quickly pick up their room and then I wanted to run the Roomba in there before I was done. Um, and make sure you guys stick around because you'll get to see when the girls had said bye after we had finished up on day one. Um, that was the day that the bedroom was all done and the girls were in there jumping around on the bed and it was really cute and they wanted to say hi to you guys. It's crazy or
much later. And we are getting ready for bed. Feels good and it smells good in here too. So we're gonna get these girls ready for bed. Hi. Say hi. Hello, my name's Avery. <laughs> You're all I think about. Give me what I need. <clears throat> Leave everyone behind. You're all I think about. I'm tired of the people that talk about nothing. And I'm not wasting this moment. Even I know that letting you go would be crazy. Think you know I want you for myself. I don't need anybody else. Steal our time again We don't have to say much Let our lips touch I will stay with you All of this cleaning was getting done Between the craziness of the day So taking care of the kids A lot of juggling going on During these long days But I have a great support system Mike is We work as a team So he was watching the kids While I was doing a lot of the cleaning You'll see him in some of the clips Throughout today but he was helping me with different things while the twins were napping avery kind of does her own thing being that she's five she can play or do activities but we truly work together as a team and i wanted to go outside and clean the outdoor windows and i got this new tool back in the spring i believe from lowe's but they have them at pretty much any home improvement store and it has a little sponge on one end and then if you flip it over there's a squeegee on the other side so it makes cleaning windows really fun and super easy and simple so what i basically do is just put some water with some dawn dish soap in a bucket and get to work i got your letter guess this is better you win sometimes, lose sometimes, no need to apologize It was the distance we had between us It broke us down in disguise, no need to apologize ooh, 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 ooh. But I can help that I miss you now And I need to reminisce this cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at our moments and they keep coming back to me Can't help that I miss you now I can't help that I Something that you can't see here on video But it was so, so, so hot this day The heat index, which if you're not familiar with what a heat index is it combines the actual temperature outside with the humidity that we have here in ohio and it was well over a hundred this day so it was like a wet and thick heat because it was pretty humid and i was sweating but it kind of makes me laugh because the last time i did this back in the spring for my spring cleaning it was so cold that i had to keep coming inside and then back outside, I had to keep coming inside because it was so cold and my hands were freezing from using the water outside. And then now today, it's so hot that I had to keep coming in and taking breaks in the air conditioning because it was so hot. Like two separate extremes. I can't help that I miss you now. Can't help that I miss you now What's the temperature like where you're at right now? Is it hot? Is it cold? What season are you in? Is it comfortable? Rainy? Let me know. We've had a long stretch of super hot heat. It's been record-breaking heat lately here. So let me know.
guys can see, whew, that's sweat. Super hot and humid, humid today. Um, whew, I am burning up. So we're supposed to have a heat index of well over 100 today and it is hot out there. I am dripping sweat. Um, so what I'm gonna do, cause we were gonna do some other things outside. I was gonna use our power washer and clean some more things outside. I'm really excited to try this baby out, but it is hot. I need a little bit of a break. So I think what I'm gonna do is come in. We're gonna get lunch going. I'll do some more cleaning inside. And then maybe this afternoon when the sun, when it's shaded back there, we'll go back out there and try out that power, pow, and try out that power washer. So stay tuned for some more outside cleaning, but I have a lot more I wanna do here inside. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break To continue cleaning inside, I wanted to wipe down the front door area, so the door and the baseboards, and then clean the banister and vacuum the stairs. This is something that's not a part of my daily cleaning routine, so it doesn't get done as often as it probably should, so I wanted to to take advantage of the time that I had today and get that done. And I'm trying to show you all of the products that I use for the different areas when I'm cleaning just so it helps you out a little bit. And I'm sure when I put the camera on the ground to try to get those close-up angles when I'm getting the baseboards, you guys can see how dirty our floors were. I know you can't always see all of the dirt that is actually in my house doesn't get picked up on camera but i promise it's there but i will be taking care of that later the floor when i vacuum and mop at the end of the night Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Okay, so first off, can we talk about how dirty these stairs were? This was completely empty before I started vacuuming the stairs. I emptied it right before I started. So, ugh, definitely something I need to stay on top of. Gross, but satisfying because these floors are clean. And I like to say they're fluffy. You guys know what I'm talking about when you have fluffy stairs, which means they're nice and vacuumed. It's like the stair version of vacuum lines. It's nice and fluffy. Hey.
When I was done with the stairs, I moved on to deep cleaning the downstairs bathroom. And this is the bathroom that is off of our kitchen and gets used the most by our entire family. And it's also the bathroom that gets used if anyone comes over. And not that we've been having really anyone over to our house recently, but I still like to keep this clean. And I wanted to also do some deep cleaning today, like I wanted to clean the grout. So Mike had ran to the store earlier and picked up some groceries and I was able to score some Lysol hydrogen peroxide bathroom cleaner. I haven't been able to find this for forever. So I was really excited to use it. And I've been using a lot of my Jaws cleaning products and Grove Collaborative because I could just order them offline. So it's really easy and they've been keeping things in stock and I don't have any trouble finding them, but I still like to use my old school tried and true cleaning products as well. But if you do want to try the Jaws cleaning products out, which I will just say they are phenomenal, I do have a code that will save you 25%. So if you're thinking about trying them and you're maybe a little on the fence, I would suggest trying them, but save yourself some money. The code and the link will be in the description. Sing. Everything has changed every day. But it's just like a foaming carpet cleaner um, but I just throw it on my grout like this let it sit for about 20 minutes sometimes longer just depending on what I have going on and sometimes I won't get all of the grout like I kind of spot watch it because you can see where the grout is dirty where it's not um, and then sometimes I scrub it and sometimes I don't but this cleaner just does a good job of cleaning the grout by itself so I'll let it sit here for a little bit I am going to scrub a few areas and then that'll be it. Easy way to clean grow. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So after I wipe that all up, it's kind of like foamy and it does kind of leave a film. So I always go through and mop after I'm done cleaning the grout, but I'm gonna mop down here, the floors, the kitchen floors later tonight after the kids go to bed. So I'll just mop in here as well. I guess it never hit you, our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time I was kind of hopping around the house today and cleaning, but that's kind of what happens because when we have the twins napping, you know, I don't really, I would prefer not to be upstairs. And Mike was also helping me outside. So we were just kind of hopping around and doing what we could when we could, if that makes sense. So after the bathroom, I went into the kitchen and wanted to deep clean the stove. And I used a little magic eraser that I had cut up to get off some burnt on water or food that was on the stove top i first used my jaws degreaser to get all of the debris and anything that was just sitting on top of the stove top and anything that was left over i went in with that magic eraser and then i lastly went in with my mrs myers baking soda cream cleanser so that's kind of how i give my stove top a really good deep clean and after i put the baking soda cream cleanser on the stove i let it sit while i was scrubbing my sink and I went in with my sink using the Bon Ami and I scrubbed daddy's sponge to give my sink a really good scrubbing. Someone hurt your feelings not that long ago and every bit of you couldn't face the truth that maybe you're just not that nice and humble.
All right, so now it is time to try this baby. We just got her, her, I don't know if it's a her, but we just got her. I'm going to power wash our outdoor rug here and then the whole patio and I cannot wait. I feel like it's Christmas and I'm trying out a new toy. I don't want to feel this way, but it's not that easy. You're complicating things for me. No, it's not that easy. Maybe just a little time can heal me, but it doesn't feel the way. What are you doing to me? Why'd you break my heart? So we removed all of the furniture from the patio and then I wanted to power wash the patio rug first because I wanted to do do it on the patio and then I would go back through and do the actual patio. But this power washer not only does a good job cleaning from the pressure of the water coming out, but you can also add special a special soap solution to clean whatever your power washer is cleaning. So we were able to use a soap to clean the rug and the actual patio and it was honestly a lot of fun. And wait until you see me power wash those high chairs after the girls had spaghetti for lunch. It was my favorite part. I hope you'll come back to me. Yeah, I'm just that stupid. Thought that we were meant to be. Yeah, I'm just that stupid. Maybe just a little time can make you change your mind about us. I thought that we were meant to be. Mommy and Daddy too. What did you have for lunch? Um, I had muskeddy and muskeddy, and I had grapes. Yep, and we need to clean these up. This is a mess from those girls. So let's go clean this up. <laughs> I think one of my most frequently asked questions is where I got these high chairs from and they are from Ikea and I think they were only like 22 or $25 a piece. So super cheap and even if you don't have a power washer, they're super easy to wipe down because they don't have all of the padding. We had one of those like normal high chairs for Avery and I just knew that with twins, there was no way I was going to be cleaning them up and two high chairs. So. These are just so much easier to clean up. The after, and I think the best part about that was it cleaned the straps. The straps had like old food crusted on them and it cleaned the straps so we didn't have to scrub. I've tried scrubbing them before and I was thinking that I needed to take them out of the seats um, but the power washer took care of that. I think that was my favorite part of all of this. It was so satisfying to get those high chairs so clean because you know I clean them every single day and I'm scrubbing them, but I don't get into every little crack, so that was a lot. Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we When we came in from outside, I brought Avery downstairs in the basement to quickly clean up the basement toys. They really weren't that bad. If you've been around for a while, you know how crazy this basement can get. And I didn't think it was that bad and I knew we could do it really quickly. The twins were still napping, so I knew I would actually have Avery's full focus and we could go down there and quickly take care of it. But when I'm done with the basement, I was gonna go upstairs 
and finished cleaning up there before the kids went to bed. And then after the kids go to bed, I was going to do kind of my nightly cleaning routine, laundry, vacuuming, and mopping. So a lot of cleaning motivation left, so stick around. I wasn't planning on doing anything crazy up here. I just wanted to wipe down our master bathroom vanity, clean the mirrors, and vacuum. So kind of like the most basic clean that I do every single week when I don't have a lot of other time. And then I also wanted to vacuum our bedroom and then Avery's bedroom because she had cleaned up her, picked up her room earlier that morning. So I knew there was nothing on her floor and I knew that wouldn't last long. So it was the perfect time to go in there and vacuum. It's so crazy because it's that time of the year again that I need to start thinking about back to school shopping. Avery will be in kindergarten, so it's kind of officially our first year of real school. Even though she's been in preschool the past two years, it's like real school now, you know? Um, so I'm going to start clothes shopping. Luckily, I don't really have to do any school supply shopping. Our elementary, the parents organization, they actually give you an option where you can just pay like a flat fee and they go in and they buy and package all of the supplies that she will need for her classroom. So it's kind of nice that I don't have to worry about going shopping or, you know, trying to find this or that or things being sold out. They just kind of take care of it. So, so I'm super excited to watch her go to kindergarten. She's excited to ride the bus and I just can't believe I'm going to have a child in kindergarten. Once the kids were in bed, I went to do my nightly cleaning routine. Pretty much the things that I do every single night, which is take care of our floors. And then after I was done with this, I was looking forward to going outside before I took my shower and went to bed. But I was going to relax outside. Mike and I were going to sit on our back patio. It had cooled down a little bit and we were going to have our little fire just for relaxation part. Not that we necessarily needed the fire at all. It was still pretty warm, but kind of wanted that ambiance of relaxation outside. But I'll bring you guys out there to see the cozy space of our back patio. But what I wanted to finish up doing was vacuuming and mopping. And as you saw from the clips earlier on in the video, the floors were filthy. And I'll admit, they had not been vacuumed or mopped 
and I think three days, which is horrible considering I have kids crawling around with their hands on the floor, but it is what it is. I just, we got busy. I filmed this after a long weekend, a lot of fun activities over the weekend. So the floors got neglected and that's okay. So I was ready to really take care and deep clean these floors and give them a good mopping. Wait a second, I don't need you Then why so settled, I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for something well, better guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I hope it gave you plenty of motivation But Mike and I are gonna relax and enjoy our evening outside in the peace and quiet um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.